Greetings YouTube, the doctor is in. Dr. Urias Papers here coming at you with another commentary on Marvel Contest of Champions. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, hit the like button. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave a question or comment. All right, so I wanted to give a little bit of review what we got dropped this morning, and that is the new daily offers. So we're getting three new daily offers every single day. So as you can see here on the screen, we've got the Thronebreaker daily special. We've got the Cavalier daily special. And we've got the Grandmaster Daily Special. So we got a little notice this morning in our inboxes. Uh, right? New Thronebreaker Daily Special. So um, from Monday to Saturday, Thronebreaker Daily Specials will have the following. So um, for and the, the first one is for those who are Thronebreaker. And then... Um, and then on Sunday, we're going to get two of these Nexus Cavalier Crystals and maybe a few other things. So um, they're different based off of your progression level, of course. And in addition, we're getting these stamps. Um, so you get a stamp with each one of these as well. So you can see here, there's the stamp right here for the Thronebreaker. You get the Thronebreaker stamp for the Cavalier. You get the Cav stamp. And for the Grandmaster, you get the Grandmaster stamp. They're still all 5 bucks. Um, it says that we get a Cavalier Nexus Crystal, but these are not um, standard Nexus Crystals. The drop rate on these for a 6-star is only 1.5%. That's normally 3% for an actual Cavalier Crystal. So it's a little bit less. I think they're, um, they're, they're moving it down. It's the same for the Cav. It's the same crystal. Um, it's got a 1.5 drop rate for a 6-star, uh, a but that's 1.5% per panel. So also for Thronebreaker, we're going to be getting a 10% uh, Tier 5 Class Catalyst Fragment Selector. For the Cav players, we're going to be getting a Tier 4 Class Catalyst Selector, which is really good. Um, uh, for Thronebreaker, we're going to be getting Rank 4 materials, so Tier 3 Alpha and Tier 6 Basic. Um, essentially, that Tier 6 is going to equal... Um, if you do this every day for a month, you're going to get uh, 33,000, um, which isn't quite a um, uh, one tier five, tier six basic. And then for tier three, you're going to be getting 27,000, which is not one of these as well. It's close to like two thirds. Uh, we'll be getting 500 six star shards per day, and then we'll get one of these tickets. And we'll explain what the tickets is. And then for the Cav, uh, we'll be getting one Cavalier Nexus Crystal, which is not really a full Nexus Crystal. Uh, we'll be getting um, 27,000 Tier 5, so that's like two-thirds of a, a Tier 5. We'll be getting one of these Tier 4 Selectors. Uh, we'll be getting half. That's pretty big. Half a Tier 2 Alpha. Uh, we'll be getting 500 Six Star Shards, so the same amount as the Thronebreakers. And you'll be getting one of these... Uh, Cavalier stamps. So what do I think about this overall? Um, I think it's a great, it's, you're getting way more for five bucks than we got uh, yesterday. Um, so I think if you're going to spend money, it's well worth it to spend. Um, it's roughly, uh, it's roughly 35 bucks a week, or it's going to be $140 a month if you want to buy every single one of them. What is it going to do to game balance? Well, it's going to cause uh, players that spend money to accumulate rank 4 materials so that they can get Paragon quicker. That's really what it's going to come down, and it's going to cause the Cav players to get uh, materials faster so they can get uh, Thronebreaker faster. So it's going to cause a faster progression level for all players that want to spend money. This is the incentive that Kabam has given us, spend money, and you will get your next level of uh, progression. What does it mean for free-to-play players? It means free-to-play players are going to be left behind. That's really what it means. Um, as of right now, they're going to be left behind because there hasn't been a big update to general uh, questing and uh, other things like Alliance Quest and Alliance War that will allow uh, free-to-play players to catch up. Um Maybe that's coming, maybe it's not coming, I don't know, but this is going to allow other players to get their progression level way faster if they spend money than if they didn't. Now, the tickets, let's talk about the tickets. So the tickets end up in the store, and, and they've got these little boxes that are um, 
you turn your tickets in, you turn seven tickets in, and you get a box. So if we turn in the seven throne breakers, we're going to get a Paragon box, which has 15,000 six star shards in it, 9,000 uh, tier three alpha, and 11,000 tier six basics. So it almost after after a month, uh, you'll you'll be able to have one of each of these uh, easily. And the big one is six. Uh, 20 six star generic six stones. That's that's pretty massive. So they're really incentivizing people to spend money for um, the Cavalier stamp card, which gets you a Thronebreaker box. You're gonna get a Mythic Nexus crystal. So uh, Thronebreaker and above are gonna get one and a half six stars. Um, Cav players are gonna get a chance at getting a six star. They're gonna get a 25% tier five class catalyst selector. And they're going to get half of a six star, so that's actually pretty good. Um, and then the uh, the Grandmaster one, this is really good. You're going to get fifteen thousand five star shards, so you're going to be able to really get five stars pretty easily. You're going to get two thousand five hundred six star shards, so you could get a six star every month if you actually bought this every day. And you're going to get a tier five basic and three tier two alpha, so that's pretty massive for um, Cavalier players or um, uh, uncollected players to be able to build up their accounts to be able to get to either Cavalier or to Thronebreaker. So um, all in all, I think the prognosis for this is really good. Uh, this offer doesn't need to be put on life support, um, and I think it can move forward. Is it going to overbalance the game? Uh, as far as a comparison or relative to free-to-play players, yes, it is. But if uh, the free-to-play content, that is Alliance Quest, Alliance War, if we get something different other than incursions, um, if they offer more things in Battlegrounds for progression for free-to-play players, then there will be some catch-up to this, but that has not happened yet. Um, in addition, why do I think that Kabam is doing this? One, I think they're doing this, A, obviously to make money. Two, I think it's because we're going to get rank five, six stars very soon. And that's going to take a lot of material. So we already know if we look at um, a, a, a rank four six star and we want to upgrade them, we're going to need three tier six class catalysts. None of those are being offered right now at all. None. We're going to need six tier six basics and we're going to need six tier three alphas. So it's a really inordinate amount that we need right now to get the get a, a rank five. So we may start seeing rank fives here in a month or two. Uh, materials, that is. Nobody's going to really have a rank five for, uh, I'm going to guess, three to six months. But in three to six months, we could also be getting a new progression level too. Um, you know, last year around January, or this year around January, we got Paragon. Uh, no, I'm sorry. We, we started getting uh, rank four materials and then we got Paragon announcement like in in Aprilish for um, for June. So we could be seeing next year around April May time frame. We could be seeing announcement of a new um, progression level, just depending on um, the uh, how many tier six class catalysts they offer and such. So I think this new offer is a step towards that, um, and. That is my opinion. Take it or leave it. If you have any comments or questions, leave them in the, the comment section, and I will catch everybody later.